Now the contact module in Drupal 7 was very basic. You couldn't add in custom fields and submissions were sent via email, which meant often they would get lost in transmission. Now in Drupal 8, uh, the contact module has been rebuilt and now you can create different contact form types. And this means you can add custom fields to, to contact forms, which is great. And if you use the contact storage module, submissions can be stored in the database in Drupal. So in this video, we'll create a basic ask a question form using the contact module. As usual, if you wanna read this tutorial, head over to the link below. If not, keep watching. So to begin, go into structure, contact forms, and from here, you can manage the default forms. Now, the website feedback is the standard slash contact form, and it, and it has the good old your name, your email address, subject message, and send yourself a copy. But we wanna create our own contact form. So to create one, just click on add contact form, and let's call this Drupal question and enter in an email address in the recipient because when, when a user fills out the form, the submission is sent as an email. So I'll just enter in a random email address and then click on save. Now to make this form somewhat useful, let's add a drop down so that users can select which version of Drupal they refer to. So to do that, just click on the down arrow and click on manage fields and then just click on add field. From the drop down, select list text under text and we'll call this Drupal version and then just click on save and continue. Now here you enter in the available or allowed values for the list. So let's enter in Drupal 8 and Drupal 7. and leave the allowed numbers, number of values to one. We only want to allow a single version of Drupal to be selected and make the field required. Now click on manage form display and let's fix up the actual form. So let's move Drupal version to the top and let's disable subject, not required, and send copy to, send copy to sender, not required as well. Okay, so to make this form available to other users, let's now add it to the footer. So to do that, just go into Structure, Menus, and click on Edit Menu on the footer row, and click on Add Link. And let's call this Ask a Question. And with the link, let's now grab the actual URL to the form. So go back into structure, contact forms, and if you click on the label, you'll see that the URL is contact slash and then the contact form machine name. So let's just grab that and make sure you add a forward slash. I covered that in the previous video and then just click on save. And let's just make sure everything is saved. Now, if we go to the home page, let's go to the proper home page and scroll all the way down and click on ask a question, you'll see that we get our Drupal question title and we get our custom field. And also you get then the standard fields, which are added to all contact forms. If you don't want these fields, you can simply remove them from the manage form display. Now, if I was to fill this out, the contact module will simply send the submission as an email. But the problem with that is emails do go missing. So what I'll, what I'll show you now is how to use the contact storage module. This is a contributed module only for Drupal 8. And what it does is it stores the submission in the database in Drupal so that anyone can just go 
to, to a page in the back end and view all the submissions, similar to web form, okay? So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the module. So let, so let me first enable it. I'll go into, uh, I can't spell contact. So yeah, I've got this contact storage and just install it. Now let's go back to contact forms and there should be, no, there's no tab. Okay, let's just clear the site cache. So give me one second and go into performance and clear the site cache. Okay, now if we go back and just hit refresh, we should see two, two tabs. Forms, awesome, and list, great. So all of the submissions will appear here and then you can sort by the contact form. So if we go to the home page and I fill in a submission, when will Drupal 9 be released? And send a message. Now ignore this error message. It just means that I don't have any type of like send mail set up locally. The the contact module will will still send the submission as an email, but then contact storage will simply store it in the database. So if we go back into storage and then contact forms and click on list, you can see the submission here. You can view it and then you can also edit, edit it. Now the last thing I'll show you is this little option. You may have noticed that if we edit a contact form, you will see this option, make this the default form. Now, what is this? Well, if we go into website feedback, you'll see that the URL is contact slash then the machine name. Now let's just open up another tab. And if we go to slash contact, this URL is considered the global URL for, for a contact form. So instead of website feedback being the global form, if we go back and simply check, make this the default form, that means that if we go to slash contact, it will load up our Drupal questions.